So hello, my name is JJ Fall and I'm proud to be part of Team McDermott. So my first time I started playing pool was back when I was 16, English 8 pool. And recently I swapped over to American pool when I was 46 in 2022. I first turned professional in 2003 in the IPA body, that's English 8 pool. And this year, 2024, is the first time I've turned professional at American Pool, uh, nine ball discipline. The disciplines I play was English eight ball, and as I mentioned before, I swapped over to American Pool, and now I only play American Pool and Chinese eight ball, now known as Hay Ball. So I practice around 10 hours a week due to travel arrangements when we go to tournaments and work arrangements it's hard to fit in more hours in the week. My most memorable moment as a player was back in 1997 when I won the Tri-Nations tournament. It was between Australia, New Zealand and South Africa and I managed to win the singles event and following that is 2003 when I won the South African Open Championships. So the most interesting story uh, about my career is probably how I got into American pool. It was in lockdown 2001, and I got invited to participate in the World Cup of Pool with Richard Halliday, fellow South African player. Uh, he normally plays with his brother, but he was stuck in South Africa and couldn't get a visa. So uh, I stood in and um, it changed my outlook in playing. So uh, I completely fell in love with the game and I hope to play it for many years to come. The best advice I've ever received was just to enjoy it and just try your best. Doesn't matter when or lose, you're taking part and uh, you can only improve. The balance between owning a venue and being a pro player could be quite challenging. When I'm at the club, I try and uh, be accommodating to all the players and concentrate on the business. When I'm away traveling, playing on the pro tournaments, I normally keep to myself and try and focus on my matches. What sets apart the top players from the rest, in my opinion, would be the ability to switch off during a match and the mental strength they show in a match. Uh, my nicknames, I've got three. Uh, Mr. Savannah, as I own Savannah Pool and Snooker in Manchester. Pretoria Potter, as that's where I'm from, and I'm quite good at potting. And some call me the jet plane as I do fly a lot. So for me personally, the biggest difference between carbon and wood shaft is carbon, I believe, is more powerful. Wood shaft probably got more feel, but the longevity in a shaft, it must go with carbon. Wood, wood is very hard, very easy to get damaged or warp, where carbon is more, uh, for life. The way I deal with pressure in a high stakes game is I try and concentrate on the easier things, try and get them correct and hopefully the more difficult shots will follow in. My favourite venue of all time would be Q Masters back in Victoria, South Africa. That's where I started playing pool when I was 16. 
and I spent most of my youth there. Uh, as I'm South African, my favourite food will always be uh, steak. <laughs> and the way we cook it is on a braai, not a barbecue. Um, braai is more charcoal orientated where uh, barbecues is gas. And uh, our favourite snack is bultong. When I'm not playing on a pro circuit, I'm normally working at the club or on my downtime, I'll go out fishing. Uh, I've been doing it since I was a kid. I prefer South African waters as it's bigger lakes than in the UK. Um, but I have had some great success in the UK and back in South Africa. My biggest catfish I ever caught was 33 kilograms. And in the UK, my biggest carp was 22 pounds. So I got into English 8 ball when I was 16. My family relocated and there was a club around the corner where I started playing. Uh, Chinese 8 ball, uh, known as 8 ball, I started that in November 2023 when I was invited to one of the station events and it was a great experience. So this has been a great opportunity to be part of uh, the McDermott team and I would like to thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I'm JJ Full and I'm looking forward to meet you on the road.